testimony for the graduates now. We have testimonies. I know we have testimonies. Let's raise our hands. Testimonies. Among the graduates, so that I, that I have testimonies. Uh, the church is waiting for you. Testimonies. There must be testimonies. It's a must. Yes, we've seen one. Who else has testimony? Yes, two. Profito. Yes, three. I'm raising my hand on behalf of you. Okay, praise the Lord. Um, our sister in red, she has testimony. Let's clap for her as she comes forward. I know the Lord has done something for her. Let's clap for her. She has a testimony to share with the church. Let's clap for her as she comes forward. Keep clapping for her. Because testimony is about the goodness of God in, in our lives. Is that not so? And she wants to testify to the goodness From of Agile, God. From you know that our testimony is having steps. Yes. <laughs> Clap for that. <laughs> My name is Victoria Olowo. Um, I want to give glory, honor, adoration, and praises to God for His goodness, His mercy, His faithfulness. He's been so faithful. I could remember the, let's say, when I came here for my program, it was as if the devil followed me as I was coming. But in the end, God triumphed because He's always our peace and He's our conqueror. I don't want to go. Just give us the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> if I should start now, we'll live here. We'll live here. So it was God. It was God. He saw me all through my exams. The project, the project, the, everything. It's been so good. So I want to give glory, honor, and adoration to His name. I also want to thank the members of the church, the, our Father in the Lord, our Pastor. You have been so good. It's just as if by year, but the way you treated me, you were grateful. Thank you. Praise the Lord. GSCF is open for everybody. Right? It's not denominational. Are you right? Is that correct? Everywhere. It's open for everybody. And let anyone you know come to this fellowship. The Lord will bless us. As, as, as God has blessed her, He will bless us equally in Jesus' name. Amen. So, the next testifier, Sister Fashuku Ife Dolako. Let's, Let's clap for her. We are not clapping. Ah. The Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Fashuku Ife Dolako. And um, I want to appreciate the name of the Lord for His sustenance. I want to thank God for every member of the, the every outgoing member here because God has been faithful to us. God has kept us from the beginning of this program. It started as many of us started in 2019, and there were a lot of challenges. There were so many things that were like hindrances that in fact for me personally at a point I was tired. Because if it is not um, house rent challenge probably school fees. But I'm here today, and we are all here today graduating, celebrating. It is through the grace of God and not by our ability. Some of our mates dropped out, but we are here today. Please, I want you to clap for, for the Almighty God. Clap for the Almighty God, everybody. For doing this wonderful the God of provision. to every one of us. And I want to appreciate the church for how they've been supportive and how they've cared for everybody. Praise God. Let's clap for her. Let's clap for her. Maybe we think we're only clapping for the person. We are also clapping for the goodness of the Lord. She said, through the house rent, through the payment of school fees, everything the Lord provided. Now it's telling us something that nobody will drop out here because Amen. of inability to pay school fees. Amen. Praise the Lord. God will provide for us all in Jesus' name. 
The next testifier is Sister Debbie Hadam. Let's clap. Let's, Let's clap, clap for her. her. That's the scribe, outgoing scribe. Let's clap for her. She comes for a testimony. The testimony is having like three story building. Let's wait for it. Lord, praise the living Jesus. My name is Adams Deborah Iwadun Yolubangu. Praise the Lord. I want to appreciate God because God is a faithful God. A song says, Emi Omo, Emi Omo. Oh, God, God, Ibiti Mbati Mokwemiwa. That's the situation that I'm in right now. I don't know where to start from, but I want to return all the glory to this faithful and living God. My MA program in this school was a journey of faith. It was basically on faith. The only thing I knew I had when I was coming was my first payment. How the rest will come, I didn't know. But I know that even though I couldn't see at that time, I know a God that sees ahead of time. Concerning my business, I thought, humanly speaking, I had put all things in order before coming. But... I, I was shocked, I was disappointed. The person I thought would, would be there for me started misbehaving. That's, that, that alone cost me a lot of stress and all that. But God proved himself. And about my, the coursework was a tug of war. It was stressful, but God was always there for me. Uh, it came to the time of the project. I started my project in March. A lot of things happened. I shared most of the testimonies here. But to the glory of God, a time came when it appeared as if I, I, I would think to myself and say, will I ever finish this project? Because it was so tedious, it was so strenuous. But in the end, God took absolute control. And to the glory of God, by Thursday next week, I'll be defending my MA project to the glory of God. And I also appreciate God on behalf of all the people that we started together among, among us here, there is no single quitter. We are all winners. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We thank God for the testimony of our sister. We believe God that God has brought us here just like the way you brought her. We are going to finish strong also in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Who else has a testimony? Okay. Let's clap for her. Sister Rachel. Yes. Sister Deborah. Let's clap for her. She shares her testimony. Jam those hands together. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate God. I'm Deborah Abang Kole. I bought him. I want to thank God for his faithfulness. Indeed, the Lord is faithful. From the time I was uh, coming to UI, or will I say from the time I gained admission, God proved himself faithful. He provided school fees, house rent. There were times when I had to write my exams. That was second semester exams while I was very, very sick. But the Lord proved that he is God. He saw me through. There were so many challenges. There are so many times I thought of stopping or quitting, but the Lord helped me. And today I'm standing here before you and I'm happy and I'm also celebrating. I just want to return all the glory to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We keep celebrating in Jesus' name. Our next testifier, Sister Olugbadie Yetolokwe Elizabeth. Let's clap for her. Let's celebrate her. Let's clap for her. She comes forward. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Appreciate God. Firstly, for the salvation of my soul. I want to thank God. On behalf of everybody here, I want to thank God because God sees us true. Uh, during my um, study here, God helped me. I bless the name of the Lord for that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I actually came here as a single person and I'm going as married. Praise oh, the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm 
to say, but on top of my sisters, my sisters here, yeah, some of us get married during the course of the program. Some even put to bed to start to see she's not around. She delivered a bouncing baby girl. Praise the Lord. I so yeah. I want to appreciate God for all the good things he has done. And I want to appreciate God for this church. In fact, it's a family, and it's a family of God. I want to appreciate God on behalf of everybody here during the time of my marriage. Everybody came like, so, so, I was so happy seeing everybody, like, at least, even if it's not everybody, but most people came. I appreciate God for that. Praise the Lord. And I appreciate God also for my um, wonderful friend here, Mrs. To Be. Also, for everybody here, I appreciate God. On behalf of my pastor, I appreciate God because God is really using him for us. Even on behalf of his wife and everybody, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord for that. Let's clap for her. You know, she has rightly claimed Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. She said the man must not be alone. And she has gone to meet the man. For the rest of us, we believe that invitation is coming very soon. Amen. Praise the Lord. I had next year, yeah. So she has also claimed Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. Praise the Lord. Let's not leave the man alone. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. More wedding, more wedding, more celebrations. Amen. In this set, in Jesus' name. We jam our eyes together as we celebrate and welcome our dear sister, Sister Adevi Busayo, as she comes up to share. Let's, Let's clap for her. Let's celebrate her. Let's clap for her. Let's keep clapping. You see, she's slaving. Wonderful, beautiful. She's slaving. That means she's a bundle of testimonies. Let's clap for her. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, my name is Busaya Adebi. And um, I want to bless God for seeing me through throughout this program. It was, it was a bit difficult. I was going to drop out, but because I dropped in my school fees myself, and my parents would not allow me, that was the only thing that, that kept me going because. I didn't have the mouth to tell them at home that I'm not doing it again. But I just want to thank God because he was faithful. And I had, at, at some point, I had problem, problems with my supervisor. Every time I'd go to meet her, she would act as if that was the first time of seeing me. Every time she's like, what's your name? What's your project of it? Like six times. At a point, I was like, what's going on? <laughs> I, was, I was very worried. So that day, it just occurred to me that she just pray. I got back from work. And I just said the word of prayer that God put my love in this woman's heart. I don't know how you do it. I, the next time I call her, I want her to be my friend and everything. And then the next time I called her, she's Igbo. So when I called her, she was like, all oh, this Igbo love this new being. And she was just calling me. I was like, oh, this person that I did not even recognize the last time I came. And then she was throughout the entire program. She was constantly calling me. How are you doing? All these things. And I want to thank God because of how he helped me throughout. The entire program. I want to thank God because of my family. I want to thank God because of this church. I joined January this year. I was formerly a AO member. And I want to thank God for how they embraced me and then they, you know, fellowship me and all that good stuff. May His name be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Perhaps you don't know the full meaning of DSCF. It's not only Deeper Life Campus Fellowship, it's a department. And it's a department of love, of care. And of fellowship. Let's clap to the Lord for that. So, you're all welcome to this department. The, our HOD here is our pastor here, Pastor John or you doing. Let's clap the <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, this is a department of love, care, and fellowship. And as you come, more of the embrace, not only of the fellowship, but of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. We have brought Tioa Felix. Let's clap for him. Let's clap for him as he comes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God has done much. I don't even know where to start from. Except God's my life, it was as if he, he pushed me to the world. No alternative than to turn and say, God, what After I said yes to the Lord, 
it was a battle. God had but each time go sorry, 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 hold on. This mic is frustrating the testimony. So each time I want to withdraw back, the only word I will hear from God is there are so many destinies connected to you. You cannot go down. Because if you go down, a lot will go wrong. I said, okay, God, I need your grace. Because I know myself, I'm a very stubborn person. So I need you to first of all humble me. And God answered that prayer to the extent that I can take anything now. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So in my academics, it was actually difficult for me. Because most of the times, my department would go to class from Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Every day, apart from Saturdays and Sundays. My only source of strength was coming to church. Which means, if I, I have to come to church on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and on Sunday. If I don't come to church, I will not be able to read. I will be very weak. But if I come to church, I will have strength to read. Most of the times, I will sleep for like two hours in the whole night. When others were sleeping, I will be awake, trying to cover up a lot of things. Balance, balancing up academics and church was not easy. I still went back to God again. I told God, God, you have lifted me up to a level that is above me. If you leave me, I will go down. I know it myself. I was very, very sincere and open to God. I told God, if you allow me, I will go down. God said, we don't go down. It so happened that during the course of uh, assigning supervisors, they gave me a particular supervisor. It's not even, I'm not even from English. It's from English. Most of my colleagues, my lecturers were asking, Felix, how come they give you that man as a supervisor? Are you from English? I told them, no, I'm not from English. That man has really been a father to me. Where people were crying here and there, uh, running health and skater in the name of I'm um, having issues with my supervisor. My supervisor will be the one to be calling me and disturbing me. Felix, I want to see you. I'll tell him, sir, I've not done anything. Come, I want to see you. During the time of COVID-19, I traveled home to Benue State. I'm from Benue. After the lockdown, my supervisor kept on calling. Felix, I want to see you in a bad I had to come all the way from Benue to Ibadan to come and attend to my supervisor. We were, still, we were ready to, uh, yet to write our second semester's examination. My chapters 1, 2, 3 were ready. I was prepared for proposal defense. Praise the Lord. God has done so much for me. May his name be highly exalted in the name of Jesus. For the church, I love you all. And I honor you all. As we are living, our prayers are still with you. The God that saw us through will surely see you through. Amen. For our pastor, Daddy, we honor you, sir. And we say the Lord will keep on keeping you. He will keep on protecting you. Amen. He will keep on upholding you Amen. for the rest of our members in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you all, and may God be with you. You've done so much for us. We cannot Let's tell you all. This keyboard is looking for the keyboardist. If we have 10,000 tongues, it still won't be enough. We said now. I believe the graduates can sing that song better. You are not singing. Nara, 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 Just 
Praise the Lord. We've had the testimony of our brother. He said he was saved here. And the devil wanted to take him back, but the Lord kept him. Because, you know, the songwriter said, Sweet is the promise, I will, I will not, not forget, forget thee. In my arms, I hold thee. In my hands, I fold thee. I pray that we, the embrace of the Lord upon our lives, the devil will not snatch it away in Jesus' name. Amen. Also, here we have the next testifier, Sister Aline de Rachel. Let's clap for her. They are going Sister Welfare, 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 Welfare Coordinator. It's only about Sister Welfare. She's Sister Welfare Coordinator. The prayer coordinator as well. Let's clap for her. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah is too small. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I also appreciate God for the opportunity that God has given unto me. I want to appreciate God for everything. Coming to you, I was. I didn't even want to come to UI. I wanted uni lag and it didn't work out. And I had to come to you high. And I want to bless God for everything. I want to bless God for the journey so far. Coming and um, from the background, the course I studied during my undergraduate days and the course I did in my um, postgraduate, it's, it's not, um, I had to start reading. It was quite difficult. But I want to appreciate God for how God saw me through my project, everything. I, I don't know if I start, um, if I start um, saying all those things, I don't know, we might not be able to live here tonight. But I want to appreciate God for everything. I want to appreciate God for um, the Church of God. I want to appreciate God for Agopi Center. I want to appreciate God for Pastor John. Thank you, sir. I want to appreciate God for everyone that, had, that has contributed to the success of my um, m -head. In this place, I pray that God will continue to help us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's clap for her. You know, at times, maybe you have someone at home that is looking for admission. At times, you want to go somewhere, but the Lord says, you have an assignment somewhere else. Also, in our lives, you will not miss the place of God's assignments for us. We, it will not be difficult for us to discover purpose in Jesus' name. The Lord has brought her here and the Lord has used her. I pray that the Lord has kept her also. We keep those of us to remain here in Jesus' name. Amen. 